Hello, it's Bini here. Thanks for viewing my video. Alright, if you like this video, please do subscribe so they get notified in real time. Alright, so let's take a look into STI on the 28th of September. The reason why we want to have a look closely into STI, not because it's dropping so much, but because it's near to the end of the quarter. So end of the quarter is going to be a very important close. So let's uh, have a look into a few points here. So number one, why did I mark in 3150? Because this place is a wash line. All right, uh, wash line, it means that any price that's above the wash line, if price is again back below the wash line, it means that those who bought inside this um, area here would be seeing their position at a loss. Okay, so that would not be very good news. And especially that we know that around the 3,280, so that was a previous high, the high pre-COVID. All right, so uh, if price is closed below 3150 which is the green line that drawn in here so the next visible support will be around here about 3080 okay we can just give it a bit of a round down and that's 3050 now uh if price is firmly below this blue line that I've drawn in then you should know that technically this would be a shoulder a head and the right shoulder pattern of STI. Now this is a reversal pattern, meaning that SDI, I you know after having moved up for this period of time, so that's the period of time the STI is going up, then it's likely to uh, see price to re reverse after a period of one year. Now, if this is the case, then how much will price drop? So based on the theoretical prediction of head and shoulder pattern, we draw from the top of the head to the low here. So that's about 393 points, right? We take this and then we predict that to the low side. Then we're going to come up with a potential support area of STI. And that's probably around 2,680. I would really think that we are looking at a region of about 2,007 as the support of STI. If this head and shoulder is going to come true. Alright, so do take note very... Um, uh, I mean to have a close note, right, into the quarterly close. 